To enthusiasts, it is the cocktail of dreams, whose yuletide treat comes around only once every 12 months. To others, most people maybe, it's a ghastly creation whose ingredients deserve to be in a cake. I am, of course, talking about eggnog. Perhaps most surprisingly, most millennials haven't even tried it at all and probably couldn't even name its ingredient. In fact, so out of favour and out of fashion is this drink that a couple of years back, I was in the uber trendy, beautiful establishment that is the Chilton Firehouse in London's Marlebone. It was a cold, dark night. There was frost on the railings. The Christmas tree was up. The fire was burning. Sat down at the bar and the barman asked me what I wanted. I said, like an eggnog, please. Raised an eyebrow, went about his business, and then gave me the drink on the house. Because apparently it was the first time anyone had ever asked him to make an eggnog. Eggnog is generally considered to come from the old English drink, posset. The earliest recipes of which we have come from the 14th and 15th centuries. One such recipe reads, boil milk, add either wine or ale, no salt, let it cool, gather the curds and discard the whey, season with ginger, sugar, and possibly sweet wine and candied anise. The transition from posset to eggnog, as we now know it today, probably came from the more wealthy in society, where things like sugar, spices, sherry, would all have been staple ingredients in their store cupboards. Posset sets were, interestingly enough, made out of things like silver and gold and handed down as heirlooms in wealthy society. Now, the first edition of eggs in the posset recipe comes from this spot here. My Lord Carlisle's sack posset recipe. Um, it uses a heated mixture of cream, whole cinnamon, mace, nutmeg, 18 egg yolks, eight egg whites, and one pint of sack wine, which was a fortified wine related to sherry. At the end, sugar and ambergris is added. Ambergris is one of, no, I think it's the most expensive ingredient on the planet. I've never tried it. It comes from a whale's bile duct. I've always sort of imagined maybe it's kind of same as a kidney stone. I don't know that to be true, um, but it's the most expensive ingredient on the planet. They use it in perfumes. Um, and have you tried it? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll do a deep dive. Anyway, ambergris, thus cementing our link to the upper classes. I don't know where we'll get some if we do a deep dive on it. Let us know if any of you have a special ambergris dealer on Wicca. Send me his thing. Indeed, possets still survive today in the form of citrus-based milk desserts. And lest we forget, Lady Macbeth poisoned the guards outside of Duncan's chamber with posset. In the 1700s, the drink went mainstream when our lovely American friends across the waves with their abundant access to dairy and eggs created it as their Yule time drink. So much loved is it over there that, and in fact, their founding father, George Washington, even penned his own hyper boozy recipe for eggnog. But how does it taste and how do you make this Yuletide classic? We're gonna go to the kitchen right now and I'm gonna teach you how to make the best eggnog you've ever had. So you can hand it down to your children and their children's children and their children's children with gold and silver possets and Bitcoin. Eggnog. So let's let's make the drink of the moment and let's make it trendy again. So you can make eggnog very many different ways. You can kind of make it like a warm custard, which I tried last year and ended up serving my brother-in-law scrambled eggs. Or you can make a cold one like this, shaken with ice. Um, you're, you will need rum. We're going to use rum for this. I've got three types here. We've got pusses rum or pusses. How, how do you say it, Reggie? Call it pusses. Uh, this is a cool rum, actually. It's interesting. It's basically keeping the old Royal Navy recipe alive and 
lovely sounding cork. Um, but for this recipe, I am going to use this. It's an older rum. It's the uh, Havana Club Especial. It's, it's got a bit more colour to it, it's a bit more rounded, and it's got a bit more kind of, uh, of an oaky, richer flavour. So that's perfect. However, taste them all. Check, this is a three year. Taste them all and decide for yourself before you start. Then you will need cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, double cream, uh, nutmeg, and a vanilla pod. And I love how these come in these little vials. Oh, and you'll also need uh, eggs. You ready? Let's make eggnog. Eggnog, the original Christmas cocktail. It's spicy, it's decadent, it's sweet, it's creamy. It's everything Christmas should be. Order it from, order it from your barman, make it for your family. That was so easy. Like, subscribe, happy Christmas to you, to yours. See you next week. Peace out all. Wallop.